Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This video is just about seed starting strawberries. I'm going to tell you how to do it so that you're very successful getting them germinated and started and also how you do this so that you actually get fruit the first year. So linked to the video is how I set up my seed starting mix. You want a seed starting mix that is sterile. I use boiling water in here. Check out that video to learn how to do that. The key is, is you want a nice peat based seed starting mix that really drains well. This is peat moss and vermiculite. I think the brand is Jiffy Mix. There's a lot of different ones, but you want a starting mix that's light, fluffy, drains well, and dries. Strawberries don't like sitting in overly damp, wet seed starting mix. To prep the soil, just real quick, and this is important, strawberry seeds actually don't get buried um, a quarter inch deep or anything like that. You put them on the surface, gently kind of scratch them in. That's what they prefer. You want a solid base to start. So fill up your seed tray or your seed cells, pack it in. I call this thumb packing, put in another layer. And this is how I set up just about all my seed trays for strawberries. Seeds that like to be on the surface, press them down one more time. And that sets up the starting mix base so that you have good success. I'm starting these in the smaller six cells. I sell these at my seed shop. These will have to get potted up. You can start them in larger cells. Just depends on how many you want to grow and how much room you have. Something like this that you can also get at our seed shop. It's really up to you. You could also use yogurt cups or plastic cups. Just make sure you poke holes in them. All right, let's get the tray set up. Now, strawberries are perennials. They're going to come back year after year. They can take a freeze. They can take a frost. I think these are perennials in zones five through eight. They need a cold period. Since they need a cold period, which means the seeds have to kind of go through that chill and that freeze to really germinate well, you want to stratify these. I will put that link in the video. I talk about that in another video. But basically these went into the refrigerator for four to six weeks. It chills down the seeds, gives them a sense that they've actually gone through a winter and they're going to germinate better for you. If you don't stratify them, they still germinate, but they can take much longer a much longer time to germinate and maybe they don't germinate as well. So you definitely want to stratify them if you can. In order for these to be able to produce fruit the first year, you want to start your seeds, this is really important, indoors 12 weeks to 16 weeks before they would go outside. So it's a good 12 weeks before your last frost because these can actually go outside when it's cold. So I'm starting mine in January, it gives me February, March, April, gives me that 14 week, you know, couple week or so either way time frame to get these to a good size and also get these to a point where they're going to produce fruit this year. Let's take these out. They're usually in a foil pack inside. They'll come like this. This is what they look like. They are really tiny. And again, these are just going to go on the surface. So we're going to put them right down here. I'm going to take three or four seeds and just drop them on each cell. And they're going to grow in these smaller cells for a good 12 weeks. And if I have to, you know, if they all germinate, I will divide them up at that point. The seed starting mix is not fertilized. The seeds will live off of the seed coat, you know, for about seven, 10 days after they germinate. And then we're going to bottom water regularly. We're going to feed also every 10 to 14 days after germination with a mild water soluble fertilizer that will take care of them. Subscribe. I'll show you how we do all of that. I'm going to do most of this flat with strawberries, but this is basically how you do it. So now that we've put them on there, just kind of rub them into the surface. And notice how the seed starting mix is nice and dark. It's fully saturated. It's full of water. That's what you want. I don't use humidity, humidity domes. I find they create an atmosphere of high humidity, just like their name suggests. But that leads to a lot of molds and fungus. I don't want that. Once you do that, just press the soil in. When this seed starting mix begins to lighten, it will get begin to get light brown in a couple areas. That's when you know you have to start thinking about bottom watering and just resaturating 
the soil until it becomes a dark brown. So you're going to let this be until this darkness starts to become a light brown. And I also have videos on watering, how you can water your seed starts perfectly. This is all you need to do to get your strawberries growing indoors. Stratification, if you can do that, four to six weeks in the refrigerator. Start these somewhere between 12 and 16 weeks indoors before your last frost. These will be able to go outside when it's cold and the frost comes. But that three months worth of growth will allow you to grow um, plants that will bear fruit this year. Now that they're planted, this is how I label them. And then I'll show you um, the light requirements for these. So I just set up a grid, six spaces across the top, six spaces on the bottom. Strawberry, 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 strawberry. You get the idea. And then I match this corner, number four, January 20th, by putting something right there. And this way I can just look at this paper and can tell what I'm growing. And the reason I do that, I don't mind using the labels, but sometimes my lights are a little bit closer and those labels get knocked around. So I like doing it with this setup. So just imagine we pick up this tray, we come over to my grow light area. You can see I have all different things growing. If you want to subscribe, I will show you how I grow all of this. And the strawberry seeds will go under the lights just like this. The lights are going to stay on 14 to 16 hours. That means they will have 8 hours of darkness, 10 hours of darkness. And this is pretty much how I'll grow, I will grow them. When I'm first starting seeds, I keep the lights an inch or two above the seed starting mix. As they get taller, I can raise the lights up. But this is pretty much how I would set up growing the strawberries under grow lights indoors. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and please subscribe. I will be going over just about everything you might want to start indoors for your vegetable garden. Thanks for watching.